What's up, everybody? My name is Jay Waz, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. It's been a little bit since I've been back in this game, and that's because the last game I decided to play instead of this was uh, Wrath of Whispers. Now, the last time we were here, we played with this. This thing had the world's smallest wheels. Well, yeah, they're just tiny. They were golf part wheels. Um, and it not exactly drive well in any form of way. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to sell this thing for 110 grand. Which is absolutely shocking, in my opinion. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull in the next customer's vehicle, since that's still my... Wait, was that the last customer order? Are you serious? There's no more customer orders? What? Okay, I guess that I am done with customer orders, unless I have to reach a certain level to get to the next one. I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the junkyard and see what vehicle we'll be working on in this video. Now I'm gonna guess if there is another, you know, storyline. One, I probably had to reach uh, level 25 or something like that to get it, so I guess I'll be leveling up on some off-camera time. Maybe I'll level up in this one. Well, I guess we'll find out. This is only my second trip, and I already found a freaking RX-3. Why weren't you available, readily available for me when I wanted to find you in a junkyard before? Bastards. So I got to the point now where I'm just trying to find a front-wheel drive car. Something that won't do excessive burnouts to try to spin out, you know, like this over here if I were to tune it to the max. And I don't know if- oh, oh, this is an all-wheel drive. This is, uh, yep, that's what I thought it was. That's an go. I've already done it, damn it. So I want to find a car that's front-wheel drive. I can put a little bit of power in, that way it won't spin out every five seconds when I race it. Maybe something like this. I don't- what the hell is this? I've never been- this doesn't look like anything in real life. I could put a good motor in this, is it- no, it's not a 4x4, it's front-wheel drive. Come stock with an i3 DOHC turbo. That's sad. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play with this thing because I really hope it goes well. Ah, uh, this is still strange not seeing any freaking story mission cars on here. Did I seriously complete all of them? Was that last order really all of them? Well, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this match match car and uh, do everything I can to make this thing overly powerful, if that's even possible. I'm actually gonna try to toot, uh, upgrade. Performance parts if that's possible. All right, I guess all the things that I'll be upgrading are stuff like pistons, alternator, uh, power steering pump, you know, stuff like that. Uh, up until I use all my points, and I'll try to get more, but I don't think I'll ha be able to get enough to do that. So I mean, it'll be worth the shot, but I'll see what happens. I'm actually kind of excited to do that. It's the first time I'm doing it on this channel. I have no idea how much points this stuff's gonna cost, though. That's my biggest concern. So I'm guess I'm gonna find out. No, jeez, I got all these parts to filter through. Where all this stuff come from? Did I just start buying crap and then just stop? No wonder I don't have more than 1.1 million. Here we are. Okay. No, how do I upgrade? Oh, I just pay for... Okay. That's simple enough. I thought there was going to be some kind of mini game. I had no idea. Okay, so this engine head is 10% increased power. So how much does it increase by when I upgrade it to the max? 13%, so it added 3% increased power. Okay, that's pretty good. I guess I'm going to find out those numbers after I, uh, you know, install the engine and crap. Alright, well everything on here is upgraded except for a few things. I officially ran out of scrap to even do any more upgrades. So, uh, the fuel just won't be upgraded. The pressure plate and the clutch are not going to be upgraded. Blech. But yeah, it'll be fine. I'm sure this thing's going to be OP anyway compared to the other BFM four-cylinder cars that I drove in here. Ha! <laughs> I'm, I'm legitimately shocked to see this in a body tuning shop. Wow, okay, there's actually crazy cuz- What the hell? That one looks crazy. I'm putting that one on. And I gotta put the C headlights on. Uh, which ones should I do? Which one should I do? I'm gonna I, I, I stick with these. Mm, don't know what I do with that. I'll just do this one. It's just gonna look- I th feel like this thing's gonna look a little crazy. I wasn't expecting that. This strangely looks cool. This car's not even that pretty. Okay, but it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually starting to look a little bit mean. I say a little bit. All right, that's the keyboard here. A little bit mean. Because this car is just freaking hideous. Why did I have to choose the ugliest car for this video? L let me put it this way. When it was in the junkyard, it was actually prettier. Okay, when I started putting all this crap on, it started to look a little uglier. I didn't actually pay attention to it before. This thing is actually pretty hideous. That's just my opinion. I'm sorry if I'm bothering anybody with that opinion. But that's just my opinion. So, you're gonna have to deal with it. I am sorry. Alright, we got everything underneath the car, underneath the hood, and all the body panels now installed. So, the only thing we have to do is wheels. Since this is front wheel drive, I'm gonna make it a staggered set to where the, the front two wheels are probably gonna be the fattest wheels on this car. Alright, I'm gonna go pick some wheels out, and I will be right back. Again. Alright, I picked out the wheels that I want. Those are really, really clean. I just don't feel like... They're too clean to be put in that car, okay? But I think they'll look kind of good. At least I think they'll increase, improve the 
appearance in some way or some form or fashion. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's see how it looks. They're 305, so they're a little wide for this car. Well, actually... Okay, so that's got too much poke. Wow, it actually makes it look better. Alright, I'll take it. Deal. Done deal. I make them the same size all the way around. Yeah, that actually improves his, the way it looks, its appearance by that much. It actually looks really good on that car. I'm shocked. I really hope this thing has clean paint jobs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is beautiful. That's legit. That's flush as hell. It is a perfect fit man to back. Almost perfect. It's got a little bit of poke, but it's not even that big of a deal. It looks good. That blew my mind. I actually thought it was going to look hideous. Making the car look a little bit better by 20%. Now I gotta add something else to make it look good better. I'm gonna add, buy a tint shop. I might as well. I go ahead and darken that tint by a million percent. That might be a bad idea, but I don't care. It, it'll work fine. Uh -huh. Yeah, limo tint. Woo. Apply. Wait, is the windshield tinted? Oh my. Please tell me I can see through that. <laughs> I really hope I can see through that. But regardless of that, I'm gonna go ahead and do an alignment, then I'm gonna take it to the paint shop. All right, what it do, my guy? What it do? What kind of paint jobs do you got? Really? That's. Please don't be all this. Just. Okay, I guess this is an Italian car. That's the only about the nicest thing you can get out of this. So I'm gonna have to choose a, a less entertaining color to match that, which would be white or black. I'm gonna choose white. That looks better. I'll make, I'll make the wheels pop. Yeah, yeah, that that looks good. That's about the nicest you'll get in this car. This has to be a Lancia, right? Is, is that what this is based off of? Yeah, it looks much, much better than it did before. Now I gotta add seats so I can see what the hell it looks like on the inside. Can I see throughout that windshield? That's that's the biggest question right now. We're gonna put some race car seats on this thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's an orgasmic. And you know, you absolutely know we're getting a racing steering wheel, something like this right here. Crap, I actually don't know what steering wheel to get to make it look good. Uh, this one looks like it's too advanced for it. So I'm gonna go with this. Yeah, that back seat don't match at all, but it's fine. Alright, let's see how... Well, I'm certainly glad I'm not driving from interior view. Because I can't see how that windshield. <laughs> Alright, dino time. Now, I don't think I'm actually missing anything on this car. I actually think I got everything covered. So... Oh my freaking god, I forgot something! I actually thought I had everything, I guess not. Come on, you can do it. That wallet bumper actually does look good in that car. That's nice. It, it's like a it's like a tiny knockoff Camry with that bumper. Get a stupid intercooler, buy the intercooler, install the stupid intercooler, here we go, bye. Oh, I don't know why I'm saying bye, this is my car. Bastards. Alright, I shouldn't be missing anything now, so let's get... I forgot all the fluids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, I'm gonna do good. It's been a few weeks, about a week or two since I played this game. Should be a good refresher for the brain. No, no, instead I forget half the things that need to make the engine run. You know, I'm almost convinced he will not drive without washer fluids, so I'm putting it in there. Alright, yes, please, thank you. 250 horsepower is a stock horsepower number. It's got way more torque than horsepower. I wasn't expecting that, but let's see how it does. Four hundred and fifty seven horsepower. That is way below the numbers I thought it would have. Well, I mean I guess it's a lot for a tiny car. I guess I shouldn't be disappointed, but I kinda am. But anyway, that's a strangely low tone motor. I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god, it's in kilometers. Ah oh, crap. I should have never had to uninstall and reinstall this. I had to do that because my computer is acting funny, so I did a factory reset. Now everything's twisted! I can't seem to change it, so I'm hoping this is right. Whatever speed that is, I'm gonna have to look that up now. Damn it, I wish I knew kilometers. Freaking Americans, right? Why can't they ever just go with the rest of the world, huh? Okay, that would translate to 271 miles an hour. Let's see if we can even hit that. I don't even think he's gonna hit that. <laughs> That'd be nice to see. Do you think I want to go in the back door? I can't even sit down in the back. See, I'm clicking like crazy. Nothing's happening. And what it thinks I want to open a back door. What the hell's wrong with this game? Speed trek. Let's see if you actually go anywhere. Yeah, yeah, I cannot see out the window. Uh, how do I change views again? Oh, there we go. All right, it's in miles an hour into here. Okay, that's good. 170, 180, 190, 200 miles an hour already. And we max out at 249 miles an hour. Okay, that's not bad. But fortunately for you guys, 
I've recently installed the Purgatory map, so I'm going to try to hit that top speed. I swear, if it doesn't hit 279 miles an hour, I'm going to be a little upset. It's staying in a straight line. There's a plus to front wheel drive, huh? 250 miles an hour, we surpassed the score so far. 260! Wow, that took a long time to get there. I'm surprised I haven't hit the other side of the map yet. We're still at 260. I don't think we're going to get 270. Any minute now, we hit at least 261 before it hits the edge, please. Please? I legit think it's refusing to hit 261 at least. We're probably gonna hit the other end of this map before that happens. It's a long way. Oh, there it is. There's the end. Ah! Yep, that did happen. Alright, time to take it to racetrack. The main reason I often avoid front wheel drive cars is because of the understeer. Some of these cars in this game have some mad understeer in front wheel drive. At least one that I tested on this account. So maybe it might be a little different with some race tires and all uh, these crazy upgraded parts. It's probably gonna understeer like hell. Never mind. And here we go. Go! There we go, yeah! <laughs> Turbo lag all the way! Up, oh, don't go so under steering! Up, oh, there it goes again! Turn, turn, oh god, no break! I've never missed that turn before! Oh my god, the understeer is horrendous! Oh my god, break! Just break! Just break! Oh my. I did upgrade the brakes! Why is this happening? Nope, my Jesus, it just burnt out in front third gear! It's still burning out. It's still burning out. Drift it! Drift it! Oh man, that's not drifting it. Oh my god! Well, I was not expecting that. Okay, aside from all the insane amount of understeer, it's actually not bad to drive. I mean, I just can't I can't accelerate while turning. That's the only downfall. Yeah. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, there it is. Ah, uh, come on, just turn. Okay, so I'll give it another attempt, but hey. It's already got a better score than the RX-7. Oh, 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 oh. What the hell? Okay, well, I mean, I'm sure I'll get a better score anyway. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm going one more because I messed up a lot on that one. It's still got a minute 37. It's not bad, but it could be... Never mind, I'm not going for another one. One minute 37 seconds. It's only nine seconds off from the Evo that we tested in one of my previous videos. I think I'm wrong, that's a terrible lead or a terrible distance to be behind somebody, but, I mean, minute 30 second, 37 seconds for a four-wheel drive car with less than 500 horsepower, I consider that an amazing score to get. Oh, right, that is actually a little fun car, I'm not even gonna lie, the only thing I hated was that, like I said, understeer for days. That was some serious understeer. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some tags, and I'm gonna see what the value goes up to. Yep, Alabama all the way. Even though I'm pretty sure you want to find a Lancia in Alabama, or in America. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what the value is at. 76 grand! Isn't it higher than the RX-3 was? I think the RX-3 was like 73. Oh, but that's still, that's not bad! I mean, it's a little disappointing considering I used all my scrap points on the freaking edge of this thing. But, I mean, it's not bad! Yeah, yeah, that edge right there. It was, oh my. Whatever, anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please, for the love of God. For the love of freaking God! Just, please. Hit that like button. If you'd like to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.